had a stroke actually mm -hmm. uh, six years ago. When uh, I lost my leg, it was really, really, really de depressed. I was in a helicopter crash and took a couple of bullets in the leg. And I begged the doc to leave the legs on and he said, when you wake up, you'll know. I owned a, a flower shop in downtown Boston um, before I broke my back. You know, you just got to make the best of it when you get that diagnosis. A lot of people just want to hide away in their bedroom and die as quick as they can so they don't have to live through it. This is uh, what keeps me living. The C. Thomas Claggett Clinic in Regatta is now in its seventh year. Organized by Sail Newport and sanctioned by U.S. Sailing, it has grown to become one of the premier events for disabled sailing. The Claggett has sailed in sonars, the single-person 2.4-meter class, the two-person Scud 18s, and for the blind sailors, J-22s. With the Claggett as the vehicle, disabled sailors have recovered their confidence, self-respect, courage, and rediscovered just how powerful teamwork can be. One of the most important things that have happened in the last several years is Judy uh, McLannan and her daughter Stephanie uh, were the driving force to establish the Claggett Memorial uh, Clinic in Regatta. What's beyond that is phenomenal opportunities for people with disabilities to be able to grow into full members of society, contributing to society in every way. Sailing is a foundation to achieve that. And I just got online and looked up Disabled Sailing and hooked up with Betsy Allison. And Betsy said, oh, I've got just a thing for you. And sent my butt down to uh, St. Petersburg, and I ended up sailing in the midwinter regattas down there. Like I say, I was a hermit for a while after I lost, lost my leg. And once I got involved with this, I made more friends. And uh, since then, this has been my life. I got to tell you, becoming a disabled person is pretty much the most disempowering thing that you can do in one's life. The Claggett's mission goes light years beyond disabled sailing. This environment uh, that we have here at Claggett is allowing people to take the first step towards independence. And I think that there's opportunities galore for uh, people with disabilities to get out of that wheelchair, to get off those crutches, to get out there and do things because they're all able-bodied in some way, but there are some things they can't do, and that's okay, but they're full human beings in so many other ways. A lot of these sailors and athletes have come from a variety of backgrounds. Some have disease processes, some have had uh, significant accidents along the way. All of them use sailing as a vehicle to explore and challenge, challenge themselves mentally, physically, and uh, beyond barriers. Tammy Vermed, who had a stroke six years ago, has used sailing as a vehicle to be able to walk again and build our coordination. None of the athletes that we work with here uh, have chips on their shoulders, they don't feel sorry for themselves, they're not looking for a free ride or a handout, and I think they, they are in inspiring. The C. Thomas Claggett Clinic in Regatta and the Blind Sailing Nationals is a great example of how a disability is not the end of the road, but the beginning of a new one. You may not be the best sailor, but sailing will make you a better person. What disabled sailing meant to us was, uh, it was actually pretty much of a miracle. If I asked somebody if they could give me something that would extend my life, probably almost 40% than what's anticipated. That's exactly what it did. It really helps us integrate back into society. So I'd say that the clock it's about maximizing in, um, ability and, and discovering potential, human potential. And I will guarantee you, and you guys have probably seen it, there isn't anybody here that considers themselves disabled. It just takes us a little longer in the morning to get going. Venture out and risk and begin to build confidence, which in turn will build a whole human being.